Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, doing the pickups video for the Amiga games. Uh, breaking it into two parts. I'm going to go through... Uh, two slash three publishers. And then we'll go on. Uh, publisher and developer get a little weird on some of these. So I kind of tried to group them up. And then uh, the tomorrow we'll have all the ones that are uh, kind of individual, that just have one or, uh, I think in one case, two uh, different games. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now just a, a disclaimer, I have not cleaned any of these boxes. They're in their original state as I was given them. Uh, so some of them do have a little bit of dirt on them such as the first one, which is by uh, Cyclops. Uh, Cyclops is actually a, a early publisher of Cygnosis, which is why they're in here, and I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, but this is Ball. Got that really cool looking guy on the front. And it looks to be a shooter of some kind, possibly an action game, but really cool. Uh, the box is a little damaged, but we can always live with that. Uh, it's got a virus warning. This game is tough, but it's guaranteed not to have a virus. It's also got the uh, registration, and of course, the the diskette. The Captain Fizz meets the Blaster Trolls, and these guys look so familiar. I want to say they remind me of the guys in... Um, uh, fifth Element. And this one definitely looks... I don't know. Shooter? Puzzle game? Who knows? We'll find out eventually. But And it's got the diskette and then just the uh, Queen's Cloned Highlanders handbook. Could be. Uh, but this is Menace. This is definitely a shooter. And inside we've got the virus warning once again to avoid virus infection. Always ensure that your machine is switched off for at least 30 seconds before trying to load the game. And of course the disc. You see it also has, uh, all these have spots for cassettes, which I find absolutely hysterical. Um, now we're actually getting into the Cygnosis games. And this is Barbarian. And this reminds me a lot of the game that I have uh, sitting upstairs and I can't remember it. My mind just blanked. But it's the really hard one. And we'll go ahead and open this. And it's got the diskette, of course. It's got playing instructions. It's got a nice big instruction booklet. Creepy owl at the back. And course a nice poster. I just love that these this is how games came. There was no collector's edition. It wasn't it wasn't something you had to pre-order. It was just you bought the game. Excuse me. And you got all this stuff. And this is obliterator. And this is like a bit of an action game here. This open. And we got the game. Creepy Owl. Instruction booklet. Virus warning on the instruction booklet. Oh, and I've got one of these. All of these. These are awesome. This is a cheap map. So you can kind of, this is a map of the entire game. That's pretty cool. And of course, I like these posters. And it looks like a very 80s alien. Obliterator. And these, I like these because these actually have what they are. So this is a Chronicles game. 
and its journey the quest begins. And it's a text adventure. And this is looks like it's going to be some fun. A lot of these I will probably stream once I get all this sorted out. But I mean, this has map. Map, but I'm not going to, I'm going to stop unfolding those. It's got a little bag and it's got a little crystal in the bag. I mean, this harkens back for me of uh, Ultima Online. I mean, you got all kinds of weird stuff. You got a pin and uh, all kinds of stuff, but the reference card, an actual instruction manual, and then software for you, nice little booklet to tell you what else you can order. This is one I'm not sure about, Zork Zero, because Zork and Graphic don't go, those don't go together to me, but I mean it kind of I just don't know there, but I love this box. It opens this way, and then it's got, just look at all this stuff. It's got a little scribbly note. I don't know what any of that means. It's got the reference card. I, I got no clue, but I'm pretty sure that's going to become important later on. It's got the calendar. another instruction manual, and then of course the game itself. I just love these. And the last Infocom game is Arthur. The quest for Excalibur. And looks uh, like another text adventure game. That's, mm, I'm pretty sure they didn't wear that back then, but you know, creative license and whatnot. Oh, there's a game you'll see tomorrow that's just, ooh. But it's got the, uh, the Book of Hours. It's got another little reference card. And then it's got the actual instruction manual. And then, of course, the game. Sinbad and the Throne of the Falcon. So, and you look on the back. It's got uh, some gameplay. And they always make these look like movie theaters. And I don't think this one does it. There it is. There's the popcorn. And inside, it's got the discs. Real one. See, it says real one. And real two. And it's got the instruction booklet. And the reference card. And for those of you who might be wondering, the reference card was just so that you didn't have to have the instruction booklet out at all times. You could simply pop Rocket Ranger. And this is featuring real talk. Which probably means it's going to talk to me. Rocket Ranger, Cinemaware. Once again, the movie theater thing is heavy in these. Oh, 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 we've got our first decoder wheel. Oh, so excited. Even though it's broken, I can fix it. That's okay, but that's awesome. Of course, uh, real one and real two. I love the foil. Instruction booklet, reference card, and the product catalog. This game, I actually remember my friend Brian playing. And he played it on his, I think it was on his Amiga. But he had a different, he didn't have the 2000, he had the 1000 or the 500. I think he had the 500. But this one, if you see, there are giant ants attacking. And you've got to deal with them. And I remember the hospital, you can get stuck if you get hurt, you get put in the hospital, and then you have to stay there, and you can also try to escape. So, once again, very movie theater-esque. It came from the desert. Reference card. 
instruction manual, game, reel one, reel two, and reel three. What's this? Is this a map? Oh yeah. City of Lizard Breath. Oh, nice map. Sorry, I said I wasn't gonna do that, and then I did it. Defender of the Crown, okay. So we've got some fun stuff going on there. And then the box. Popcorn! And then all the stuff's inside. So we've got the, the quick little, little reference card. We've got the card that's supposed to hold everything in. The registration card. Treasure tickets. I don't know what those do, but they're pretty cool. The instruction manual, and then, of course, the game. All right, so this one is Cinemaware, but this is a sports title. This is the only sports title that I have found in there. Uh, so, TV, sports, football, and as you guys know, I'm not a big sports fan, but it looks pretty interesting. And once again, we've got the normal, we've got the game, we've got the player's guide, and then we've got the actual instruction manual. And in the bottom, we saw the, the guide for the rest of Cinemaware. And now we have Wings, which looks to be A fighting plane game. Looks like there are multiple viewpoints. I don't know which one's going to show up more often. Let's again, the movie theater. Holy crap! That's a that's a manual. Wow! Look at that. I mean, that's got some information in it. Anyways. Ah. Uh, Presents. Apparently, this is the quick reference. Reel one, reel two, and oh, a receipt. Right, Amiga Basic. Wings cost wings cost thirty eight dollars in nineteen ninety. What does it cost now? Nothing! Because it was given to me. Uh, and I saved this for last just because it looks quite possibly the silliest, is the crystal. And why? Because it's got this guy who's all, Arr! and her who's like, ah, and barely clothed. Why? Because video games. And of course on the back, we've got none of that represented. Well, I guess he's kind of the same color. It's again, popcorn. And these were labeled as interactive movies. Which I find really disturbing that even back then they were trying to be like, oh, video games can be like movies. Holy crap. Well, these are actually labeled as discs. But there are four of them. And just a very thin manual. That's gonna be weird. I'll be able to make it through that. But there we are. Uh, that is it for the games for today. We'll go ahead and take a look at more tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on!